convent and I kind of want to do a little bit of a tour since I know not a lot of people get to experience what I experience so first off I'm going to start off by showing you the garden and then we'll work our way inside. This is kind of their outside area and this place is super cute especially during Dia de los Muertos because they decorate everything so beautifully and there's just those orange flowers everywhere and it's absolutely amazing so this is kind of a rundown of their backyard and then I am going to work my way around and continue taking videos so the convent that we are at um, in English it translates to the sisters of L the little Claire's Larissa Chiquitas and essentially um, if you didn't know St. Clair was actually very fond of St. Francis of Assisi and kind of took after him when it came to the poverty aspect and they do have like in the inside a bunch of St. Francis statues and St. Francis is my patron saint so I live for it and I think that he obviously led me here for a reason and it's just so beautiful and so amazing um, but yeah you guys should totally read up on St. Francis and St. Clair de Assisi amazing amazing saints amazing role models these are the types of people we should all be looking up to so right over here this holds all of our um, kitchen supply items we have like salt and stuff um, the ladles pots pans all of that good stuff fun fact once I was here at night and I got so scared one of the nuns was watering the plants and it freaked me out I was like what the heck is that Alrighty, and then right over here is just the entrance of where all the cars come in. We're super secured and everything is locked up. Like you are not allowed to come in unless you ring the bell and then we're able to open it up, see who it is, and then grant or deny access to who comes in. So we're super safe in here. And this is actually the entrance of the church. So now I'm gonna show you the inside. And then over here, I'll probably take a video again tomorrow once there's light, um, but there's more items. And there is the church, and right over here, it's actually pretty cool. This is where these sisters live. And since they are cloistered nuns, um, they do not leave often, and having a conversation with them may be a little tough because, you know, they spend their day praying. Okay, so we got assigned our rooms. So this is what our shower looks like. Pretty basic. Um, and then we have two beds, and this is Shannon. <laughs> so she's gonna be my roomie. And then as we walk around, these are just a few more rooms. Another one, and another one. This is the common room. There's more jewelry. And then going back to St. Clair and St. Francis. And then over here, this is the kitchen we use. Um, right now everything's dark since we just got here, but they typically make like chorizo con huevos and burritos and cereal and fruit and stuff like that. So we have access to the stove and the microwave and the cute little plates. And right now I'm gonna take you inside the church. So I'm not gonna speak just in order to show reverence to more. us upstairs and showing us to where their little chapel is so that we can spend a time adoring Jesus with the other sisters and she was just so beautiful and so sweet and it's so beautiful to be surrounded by people who have the same mindset that you do that Jesus is king Jesus is our Lord and Savior and he died for our sins and 
spending that moment in adoration was just so breathtaking and so powerful and Jesus was there and he just loved, loved on us and I'm so thankful for this opportunity. This was part one and that was just a little bit of what a convent looks like. I'm hoping to speak with the sister and potentially have an interview with her. Um, I think that would be amazing just so that she can share her story and then I will of course um, translate it to English for those who don't understand. But like always, peace and blessings, and I'll catch you on the next one.